Toyota's sedan hierarchy places the Crown above the midsize Camry, but it is not larger than the Camry. Not by much. The Crown is an inch longer between the wheels, a couple of inches longer overall depending on trim, 4 inches taller in total height but the same width, and, despite what the crossover style plastic fender cladding might suggest, only 0.1 inch higher in ground clearance. Where it differs from Toyota's standard sedan is in terms of style and content. In terms of style, the crown is unusual but appealing. The liftback dimensions and two-tone color scheme distinguish it from more pedestrian family sedans, while luxury vehicle-inspired elements designate it as a car that will most certainly be remembered as symbolic of the 2020s. Things like the floating D-pillar, unibrow taillight bar, and huge grille. Speaking of giant, the 21-inch wheels are the largest to have ever seen on a Toyota sedan from the factory, and they do look massive in person, giving the entire thing a vaguely off-roadable appearance, especially when paired with knobby winter tires and blacked-out, SUV-style fenders. Where I truly fell in love with the crown was inside. I love the shapes that make up this space. Everything appears erect, deliberate, and dignified. Nothing is too jagged or blocky in the sake of 8-bit throwback, and nothing is overly swoopy just for the sake of it. Everything is deliberate, mature, and incredibly simple to understand. This platinum trim, on the other hand, adds a bit of flair with its bronze trim and seat piping. Innate versus ornate luxury. Ease of usage became a motif with this vehicle. Everything you would like to be a button is a button. Everything you'd like to be is a knob. Everything you would like to have lit up at night is lit up at night. Everything is obvious, transparent, and uncomplicated. Even the screens, which measure 12.3 inches in the middle, are acceptable in size, sharpness, and responsiveness, but never overwhelming. How many so-called premium vehicles nowadays can boast all of this? Let's be honest, none of them. I can't recall the last time I got into a new vehicle from a luxury manufacturer and didn't come across at least one user interface component that would have been easier to use if it was less fancy red, photographed worse in a brochure. Too many of them are growing too comfortable relegating HVAC functions to a glossy touch panel, or worse, a menu within the infotainment touchscreen, while others are still hopelessly attempting to reinvent the volume knob. Meanwhile, some are adding touch-sensitive controls to the freaking steering wheel, demonstrating a fundamental ignorance of why steering wheel controls exist in the first place. To take a phrase from the kids that I would never use, all of these things make me sick. If you define luxury as a lack of it, the 2024 Toyota Crown is the best luxury car in the world.